right, you guys. First of all, we're in the middle of a live feed, so go to the live feed and see what's going on. We're, we're gonna be continuing to do live feeds throughout the whole storm. But right now, it is August 20th at 3.47 in the morning, you guys. And we are going out. It just started raining 10 minutes ago. So this is the beginning of the tropical storm, Hillary. This is the, the push from the front of the storm. Everything from this storm, the most moisture and wind is gonna be coming from, uh, from the northern part of the storm. So we're gonna get hit with a lot of this before, before the main tropical cyclone actually gets here um before the uh gosh it's so it's so late for me right now my brain isn't working um basically before the center of, of, of you know of the storm gets here we're going to be getting a lot of very heavy precipitation before that so yeah this is the start of it and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse It is so dark outside, guys. This is ridiculous. But I hope you guys enjoy. This is, again, Tropical Storm Hillary. 3.50 in the morning, 58 degrees in Big Bear, California. We are on Big Bear Boulevard. I've got my gorgeous bride. Say hi, baby. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So, guys, we've been doing, as I said, a live feed since about one in the morning it's gonna stay live till probably 10 or 11 uh, maybe noon and then I'm gonna do go out and do a, a live feed doing what I'm doing right now so you guys can see the town during the heaviest parts of this storm so get ready for this you guys keep your fingers crossed we could get the lake filled up by this but yeah guys this is exciting I'm super excited super excited to be chatting with you guys again it's been since last winter time basically since we've had good conversation so I'm very excited um, love you guys a lot I cherish all the support cherish the friendships you guys are such sweethearts to us we, 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 we love you guys a lot so yeah this is awesome but look at how dark it is out here babe Does, doesn't it feel it darker really nice. doesn't it feel so darker than usual though we're gonna have to get these windshield wipers going faster we usually don't do that in in Big Bear, have the windshield wipers going full blast. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I don't want to be enough and I think I like it. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Alright. We're gonna go through the village real quick and then we're gonna take a drive around the Lickety Lake. You guys, another cool bit of, of information. It is possible for us to fill up the lake with this storm. If it happens to be eight inches or a little bit more in that short amount of time, we could have a full lake, you guys. And keep in mind, our lake is 7.2 feet below full right now. So we could get a full lake after this. Keep your fingers crossed. As long as there's not any property damage and, and as long as no one gets hurt, I'll be totally cool with all this rain. The windiest part of the storm isn't gonna arrive until maybe 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. That's when the, uh, the really dangerous part of the storm is gonna be here. But what's leading up to that all day long from this point on it's gonna be some of the heaviest rain we've seen here in years. And that's not even the heaviest part of the storm, so get ready. Get ready. I just love doing this. I love this, you guys. I love you guys. This is so much fun. We started off as just a snow channel, just recording the snowfall. But now we're doing it all. We're doing it all. Okay, this is the village. I know it looks kind of crazy because there's a lot of rain coming down. So I hope you're getting a decent view out the out the windshield. But either way, it's just nice to have you guys here with me. It's nice cruising with you guys. Um, Rachel is 
responding to a lot of the comments on the live feed right now. When we left the house just now at 3.45 a.m., there were about 60 people watching live still. Just crazy. How many people now, babe? Uh, there's 43. 43, okay. Okay, right now we're on Village Drive coming up to Big Bear Boulevard and we are going to stay straight on this, which will turn us into Big Bear Boulevard and then we're gonna go around the lake. Hey, why is this like foggy right there where the windshield wiper is? Watch, when I stop, it goes away. Maybe I need to clean, because I have to keep this right here so it's a much better view. Because look, it's, it's really kind of blurry right there. I see it. Do you see I'm it? sure it has something to do with Yeah. Hopefully that lets out. Let me just give it a second guys. I know this is kind of annoying, but you're not gonna use the punch wiper for a second. Come on. Come on, green light. Look it up, here it comes. There it is. So yeah, you guys, we are just going to be getting sideswiped by the center of this tropical storm. The first tropical storm warning ever issued in California. And before that, it was the first tropical storm watch ever issued in California. Um, 1939, folks, we had a tropical storm that came into San Diego. And it, I think a hundred people lost their lives. It was a surprise. No one knew about it because they didn't have the type of weather equipment we have today. So it came on shore and did a lot of damage, a lot of flooding, but it was not as strong as this tropical storm or nearly the size. So this is the biggest storm we've seen since I think the 1850s. It's pretty incredible. It is pretty darn incredible. In the 1850s, I believe, or maybe the early 1860s, a Category 1 hurricane came on shore, I think in San Diego and just north of, of San Diego, kind of south of Orange County, north of San Diego. And uh, I don't know what kind of damage was done, but that was the only time, I think, since we've been keeping somewhat records that there has been a hurricane that made landfall here. But as soon as that Category 1 hit land, I guarantee you within a couple hours, it became a tropical storm right away because the land decimates these storms. These storms need the warm ocean water for their fuel. And on our coast, we don't have that ever. Some parts of our coast, like in Orange County and, and LA, were recorded at 57 degrees yesterday. But some parts of the water down near San Diego were about 70 degrees, 72 degrees. And the category four storm, Hurricane Hillary was in temperatures of about 86 to 88 degrees, which is what was fueling it. Pretty awesome how that works, right? I know it's kind of hard seeing out here, but I really hope you guys are enjoying and I hope you're okay with it. Again, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so I'm not going to miss this for the world. Um, because I have my, my wife, a.k.a. Precious Cargo, in here, later on in the day when we do some more videos, if, if we come up to, to any really dangerous areas driving where there's a lot of water, I'm not going to put her through that. If I'm alone, I, I probably would, but I don't want to put the rescue crews in any danger because of my selfish butt trying to be all over the place for the storm. But a lot of you have asked me to not go out, to just enjoy it from my house and stay safe. But guys, I, this is what I live for. This is what I've been dreaming of for a long, long time. This is some of the heaviest rain I've seen since I've lived here. And this is nothing compared to what's about to come, so.
<laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, do you guys have um, rain boots and umbrellas? <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then also, I was walking around town because I wanted a newspaper. I was going to scrapbook and do this thing with the pictures for Nick, and I could not find a newspaper anywhere. Come to find out, Big Bear only has the Big Bear Grizzly, and if you want any other newspaper, I guess you have to go down down the mountain to go get it. That's crazy. Yeah. So. They've got to have it somewhere, babe. But they don't. Yeah. I drove around all around town. That's all the locals told me now, and everybody that worked in stores was like, "Get out of here." online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. Well, guys, we just passed Boulder Bay. But, babe, thank you. That's so sweet of you. Yeah. She, she, she was going to make a tropical storm collage I was. Of, of memories for me. That's awesome. Hopefully, I can manage to get a paper somehow. I'm sure there'll be plenty. We're starting to hit some good-sized puddles already. Guys, this just started too. By the time we get back to that side of town, babe, it's, I bet it's gonna be twice as heavy as it is right now. Wow. And it's already coming down like crazy. I feel like I saw a couple drops of hail, like just a few, but I could be wrong. Well, it is possible because there are strong, strong thunderstorms with serious updraft embedded in these tropical systems, so. And later on, the lightning is just going to really pick up also. It's going to be spectacular, you guys. For me, it already is. To see it like this, this is already spectacular for me. And by the way, guys, I haven't slept in a long time because I've been focusing on this storm and it's so nerve-wracking. <clears throat> when this video uploads, Please understand, I'm probably not going to be responding to a lot of comments, at least not right away. And the thing is, is as soon as I wake up from my, my little nap, I'm going to want to go right back out and record another video. So it's going to be hard to be able to respond to everybody on this video. But on the next video, guys, of course, you know I'm still going to try because I'm, I'm pretty good about just about getting to every comment always right baby yeah so i'm gonna really try but on the next video for sure even if i don't get any sleep i'm gonna be every 15 minutes checking the channel and making sure that i respond to every single comment i love you guys a lot we love you guys a lot and i want to make sure that um that i get to chat with you guys and talk to you guys share information share some knowledge and learn some stuff from you guys and just all of the above i should slow down around these corners in case we hydroplane hydro car doesn't it feel like we're doing a winter time video babe even though it's not snowing it does All right, I'm gonna to try to shut my mouth for a couple minutes while my wife responds to the comments just so you guys can hear the weather. So for five straight minutes, from 4.01 until 4.06, I'm gonna shut my fat mouth for a minute so you guys can really enjoy the drive. Really enjoy the drive. Just real quick, if I did one of these night drives, like this in this really heavy rain and shut up for like 10 minutes and and made one of those sleep videos wouldn't that be awesome that would be just a quiet video driving driving around see that bounce that looks like holy I mean, moly it's just like one or two little pieces wow yeah wow there it is okay i'm i'm gonna shut it you can talk babe because i always talk but I'm going to try to be quiet until 4.06. Well, it's still 4.01, so... Alright, let's do it.
been five minutes. Man, that was tough. That was tough. But hey guys, if you guys enjoy what I do, I work really hard at this, very consistent, never missed a storm in eight and a half years. Literally, never missed a single storm. I'd be very honored if you helped me out by subscribing. It would, it would really help me out a lot. I would appreciate that. I forget to ask at the beginning of the videos, but if there's new, new people watching, I don't want them to think that I'm just asking for something for nothing. I want to earn it. And if you guys feel that I, I, I do and I have, have earned it, please, please, please subscribe and hit the like button. It would be fantastic. Thank you. How are the live feeds coming, baby? Mm -hmm. Tell them over, over, tell them that Nick says over by the dam is, it was really, really starting to rain good. So we're talking to you guys on the live feed right now also, which is pretty awesome. Again, when you guys watch this video, the live feed will still be up. The one that we're doing right now. And then as I said, I'm gonna be doing another live feed later on today in the middle of the major part of the storm. Um, that one's gonna be just awesome. It's gonna be during the day, so it'll be very fantastic. So you guys will be able to get a sense of what's going on, see with your own eyes under the light of day. All right, we gotta slow way down because we are in fawn skin. My car needed a wash, so this is good. It's 25 through here and we're going 26. We're crossing Grout Creek right now. This creek's going to be running. We're going to have to do a Grout Creek video uh, maybe at some point on Tuesday morning just to see what kind of water has come into the creek, babe. How's that sound? Does that sound all right? Yep. Okay. All right, so we just passed through downtown Fonskin, y'all. I mean, guys, that sky is so dark. It's one of the darkest I've ever seen it here. Since I'm always out here driving, like uh, when it's this exceptionally dark outside, I can really tell. It's pretty awesome how dark it is. auto mechanics or know anything about cars my check engine light has has been on because of an o2 sensor and my friend who owns Knights Auto he replaced it twice and the check engine light still comes on and he can't figure it out so I don't have time to take it down to Subaru so do any of you have any thoughts on why um, we also when I first got my brand new car we took off the muffler to put the train horns in that in their spot because there was no place on the car to fit the train horns he says it's not gonna have anything to do with that but I'm just telling you guys things that I've done to the car so you might have an idea of what could be the problem why the check engine lights on because with, with the check engine light on my remote start does not work and that's like my favorite feature. So if someone could help me out with that, that would be great. Also, I had a, I put a two inch lift on the car and put a extra good braking system on the car. So those are the, ma the major upgrades that I've done to the vehicle. If anyone has any ideas, I would be super, super grateful. Or if any of you have any family or friends 
who are Subaru mechanics, please do me a huge favor and ask them. Just say your, your friend's check engine light will not turn off even though it says the problem is the O2 sensor and my friend, he replaced it twice with two, two brand new sensors both times within a one month period and, they, and the, the check, check engine light still is on. But that's the only reading that it gives you is the O2 sensor. So I'm wondering if there's something wrong with my sensor <laughs> that's sensing other things. Didn't even think about that. Maybe there's an, an issue with, with the sensor itself. The sensor that senses. <laughs> guys get ready for merchandise I've got a lot of merchandise coming you guys you guys have asked for many years and we got not only merchandise but a really killer uh, website coming so I'm so excited I'm so excited hope you guys are too it should it, it'll be launched before winter time I said by the time we get back to Stanfield Cutoff, it should be coming down heavier. I, I, I still hope so. We might have to go to division. Just, I, I think that's, that's what we'll do. Because we can't see the lake anyway, even if I point it over towards, towards the lake. So we're going to go to division. At the tone, Pacific Standard Time will be 4.14, exactly. Or no, it would be Pacific Daylight Time. Do you guys remember, all of you who live in Southern California most of your lives who are my age, do you remember if you would dial from any area code that phone number 853, and then you could literally punch in any last four digits that you want and you'd be calling time? It would, it would be the time phone number. So I would always call time to get the exact time, like to the, to the 10 seconds. So it would be like, a, at the tone, Pacific Daylight Time will be 4.15 and 20 seconds, beep. And then it would be right after that, good morning. At the tone, Pacific Daylight Time will be ba 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 and 30 seconds, beep. Right, babe? Yeah, I started, I started to feel sick because I was going to throw up. Oh no. Do you want me to pull over? No, I'll tell you if I can.
nice being the only one on the road, guys. But this stuff means a lot to me. So usually we would turn right here and start heading back, but we're gonna go one more huge block to Division Road. This is Stanfield Cutoff. We're gonna go straight and stay on North Shore, AKA Highway 38. So yeah, usually we'd be turning down that way. But we are going straight. In case you guys were wondering, I showed you guys right after my accident in this car happened where I screwed, I, I messed up the front. Thank God it, it, it was only cosmetic damage, but it looked really bad. It was right coming up, uh, I was talking to my wife on the phone. She was home, or no, she, she was in LA. It was right here, right, boom, right here. A person was turning into that church. And I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I ran right into the back of a stopped car going about this speed, going 39 miles an hour. And my wife heard, heard the crash and scared the living daylights out of her. If I could go back in time, I would definitely change that so I didn't have to crash, but because it's cost me a lot. I bought a brand new car, which I struggle paying every single month, but I get it paid. But I don't drive it because I can't afford the, the insurance. If I drive that with both of these cars, it costs me about just about $650 a month. And then I have my Harley also that adds another 200 a month. So yeah, I that's eight, 850 a month in insurance just to drive so I decided that I'll just keep the miles low on my brand new 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT and if I have to I'll sell it but it is a beautiful car I drove it for the first time yesterday in about six months to take it to my friend's shop so it can be indoors because um, I'm worried about the winds from the storm. Anyway, we're at Division Road now. We are going to make a right-hand turn and go from North Shore to South Shore. To the left is the airport. Awesome, pretty awesome. Alright, let me go down the window a little bit more. I forgot about it. I want to roll it all the way up. And here's Big Bear Boulevard. We're gonna take the boulevard. Or actually should we Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll take the boulevard back. Usually I might want to go straight and take the back roads home. But we're gonna do this. Look at how bright Motel 6 is crazy. Look at how bright that is, you guys. That's Motel 6. They're like, we have rooms. <laughs> yeah. And you're not going to be able to sleep because it's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> Some Motel 6s I've seen, though, I can understand why they have all the lights on because of some shady stuff going on outside. But this is a nice Motel 6. They definitely keep the light on, right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this rain feels good. The few drops that are smashing me while I'm driving, it feels great. guys well that is the very beginning of tropical storm hillary in the big bear california area 
we literally haven't been to sleep yet because we're not gonna miss any of this storm. I always try to catch the very beginning and then during the storms and then after the storms. So it started raining at about 3.50, oh no, about 3.40. I think we left at 3.45 in the morning. So yeah, you guys got to see the very beginning portions of the storm. And through the live feed, you can watch it pick up more and more. And we'll be doing at least two more videos today like these for you guys. So I hope you, uh, hope you tune in, hope you enjoy. And once again, thank you guys for being here with us. We love you guys to death. Do you want to say something, baby? Um, yep, thank you for watching. <laughs> so sleepy. <laughs> yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, we're going to say see you later because it is going to be not too long from now. So see you later. Hit that like and subscribe button. We, we could really, as I said, we could really use your help. Only if you feel that we've earned it, though. Because I don't want to grow the channel just by asking. I want to earn it. I work really hard at this, so please help me out. I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And uh, as I said, until next time, which will be in a few hours, we will see you. But right now, when you're done watching this, go ahead and hop over to the live feed and chat it up with us. I'm actually talking to you guys in person, not just um, responding via comments. So come check out that live feed and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Did you just feel that? We just got loose a little bit. Crazy. Yeah, okay. No, no. Oh. I, I like hydroplaned a little bit. Oh. It, you felt that, right? All right, guys. I did, feel it. did you feel it? I love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye guys. August 20th, 2023 at 4.23 in the morning and it's 57 degrees. Peace out.